to make sure y'all can see me. This is going to be another why I'm getting dressed. I'm going to talk to you guys. Um, because this is important information, of course. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. Like, I had, like, a crazy week. I had a crazy week. So, I'm going to wait for some more people to get in the room. And then I'm going to start trying to do something with myself today. And uh, take my daughter to go get some plants because she wanted to get some like uh, real plant flowers and stuff for her room and stuff like that. Hello, good morning everybody. Hello to everybody coming in, in the room. Good morning. Well, is it even the morning? It's like the afternoon, I think. Like I'm like off. <laughs> it's, it's been crazy. Hello, Kayetta. Hello. It's been crazy. I'm going to just tell y'all what's been going on with me the last week, and then I'm going to give you some tips on how to start high company, how to stop the CCCA symptoms in its tracks. Hello, Joyce. How are you? How you doing? Hello, Michelle. Hello, um, Zay Zayaya. I think I said that right. So it's morning to some people. Hey, Team Tina. Hey, Jim. Thank you for hitting the like button, Jim, coming in. I appreciate y'all. Everybody else, please follow suit. Hit the like button coming in. Oh, um, Shaterika. I hope I'm saying that right. Hello, how are you? Hey, Esther. Hey, sweet lady. <sighs> Y'all. Okay, so my hair is like blown out like this. Yes, um, okay, yeah, I try to give y'all as much information as I can, um, especially as it comes to my mind, so that it can help y'all, especially during this. Um, oh, I'm glad I said it right to teach. So that, you know, it can help y'all during this journey. So my hair is blown out. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, but I might put braids and I might do it myself. Hey, Miss B, how are you? I might do it myself because I noticed that... I'm trying to put this a little angle. Yeah. I noticed that if, like, if I have other people do my hair, nobody is, like... Because I know my hair and I know what it needs. Nobody is as gentle as me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Kayla. Oh, Kimberly, I'm glad that they're working for you. Glad. Well, I'm about to give you some more tea. But first, let me tell y'all real quick how my week been going so y'all could just know. LaWanda, hey, LaWanda. She said, I'm new. I just came in. What we chatting about? So first, LaWanda, I'm about to tell y'all how crazy my week been. Then I'm about to tell y'all what you can do to stop the CCCA alopecia symptoms in its tracks. Like if you're having like flare-ups while I'm getting dressed. So that's what's going on today. And while wow, you see me looking crazy. So you're just going to see me transform right before your eyes. <laughs> Okay, so my week's been crazy, y'all. So, on Tuesday, my daughter was hit by a car on Tuesday. My oldest daughter. And I'm going to try to get through this without crying. Because I don't want to cry. So, let me. I said that so I wouldn't cry. She was hit by a car on Tuesday. And it was... Um, she was crossing the street... And, like, my daughter is really heavy into, like, anime and everything like that. So, she was, like, going to this anime store with her stepdad. And the lady was trying to, like, catch the light, so she was speeding. And it was, like, a small street, so you would think that if she did get hit, it wouldn't be that bad. Because on small streets, you're literally, like, nobody's speeding really on i know i don't on small streets but this lady was trying to catch the light so she had hit her hard and she don't she didn't remember getting hit so what happens she was running across the street 
no the cars had stopped it was supposed to stop at the light but the lady was coming she was trying to hurry up and catch the light the lady hit her so when she hit her she hit her hard my husband said she seen he seen her he was like stop and she stopped because she seen the car coming she didn't see it and he seen her basically fly up in the air he's seen the whole thing he's like talking about he having nightmares about it and everything so she had told me that in the midst of getting hit, she saw a white light that everybody be talking about. She said she saw a white light. She didn't even know she got hit. She just woke up on the ground. She saw a white light. She was on the ground. She seen my um, husband's face. She was like, oh, thank God I'm not dead. And then she went to, um, she looked at her hand because her hand was hurting. So she was looking at her hand. And she was like, oh, my God, how am I going to draw? Because she's really into, like, anime and all that type of stuff. And she draws. And she had, like, a YouTube channel with a, a really high following because she's really good. But she has stopped um, stopped doing it, um, doing the YouTube. But she, like, still draws and stuff. So she realized, she said that she wasn't there. She seen Andy face. And she felt like, oh, thank God I'm not dead or whatever. But... Right now, she's doing better, y'all. She she does have a concussion, and uh, her finger, like she was saying, she felt her hand hurt, and her finger, is, her pinky is broken. So she has, like, a little cast for her hand, for her finger. Ooh, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry. She has a cast for her finger right now, and... uh She still has a concussion. So we went on Friday. She got hit on Tuesday. We went on Friday to the doctor and they said she can go back to school like little by little, but during half days and then on the online, because you know everything is online now. So the online class, um, she can do 50% of the work and stuff like that. She can't take any major tests. Uh, so she had a CT scan and... Um, and uh, I forgot what else they did, but they basically was making sure it was no like bleeding in the brain and stuff like that. And she's fine and she's feeling a little better. Like she's, I don't really let her get, cause when you have a concussion, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to let your brain rest. So she's basically on brain rest. So she can't really get on a computer and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just just stay off her phone and stuff like that. So she's doing better. Like, I had took her to the park. If any of y'all follow my personal page, y'all probably saw it on Instagram. But I just, like, took her to the park yesterday. Just, like, get out the house and just do other things other than, you know, being on the Internet and stuff. Because it's not good for her concussion right now. So uh, she's doing better. I'm grateful for that because, honestly, it could have been worse. Like, when I seen her, because uh, her stepdad FaceTimed me when she got hit. And I'm like, why is he calling me from her phone? But I'm thinking they're going to show me, like, the figurines because they were going to that store. And, like, she was on the ground. She wasn't responding. Um, I was saying, Sydney, are you okay? What's going on? She wasn't responding. It was like she was out of it. And that's because she literally had a concussion. And, like she said, she saw the light. Like, she thought she was dead. And, um, so I was, fuck, uh, I was, I was fucking, I was going through it y'all this week. So it was crazy. It was crazy. So she doing better now. She just doing like stuff in the house or whatever, but she goes to get her finger checked next week. Um, when I looked at it, it looked like it's getting better because, like, her pinky finger, like, this literally was all the way in. It's, it's broken all the way through. That's what the x-ray said. So, she just basically uh, recovering from that, folks. So, when I saw it recently, I said, okay, it's looking better because we got to take it off, you know, when she showers and stuff like that. So, it looks like it's getting better, and I think um, the doctor is going to say it's better next week. But, y'all, it was crazy, okay? It was cr It was crazy. Like, the whole situation was freaking crazy. Like, and if anybody who ever, who has children, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, that's, that's like, the, the worst thing ever. Like, that, that, that shit was crazy. I'm not going to lie like that. That was crazy. So, she's doing better, y'all. So, please keep us in your prayers.
and um, if people had consultations and I didn't answer them fast this week, that's why, because that's what I was going through. So uh, the people who have consultations um, know that they will be answered. It just took a little bit more time this week because it was crazy. Like, it was crazy. But, okay. So, on a better note, <laughs> um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about how to stop inflammation in its tracks when you have CCCA. Because I've been getting, especially because of the, like, the... The winter months, first of all, let me just say this, you guys. Winter months are crazy on on your hair. The the air and everything like that, the winter air is very harsh. Especially um, black people here because our hair is more so, uh, you know, it's, it's fragile. Like, we, we have fragile strands. So, because of that, in the winter months, you may have more shedding than usual. Because I, I do. I have more shedding in the winter months than I do in the other months. Just like when they say, like, a bear, they go in hibernating and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's like, your hair literally sheds. And they say the bear shed. Yeah. Your hair sheds on winter. It sheds more. Um, so, I had spoke about that in the last live on how to reduce winter shed. And this time, I wanted to speak about how to reduce um, CCCA flare up shed and basically stop it in its tracks because ccca shed like if you have a flare-up and just winter hair shed is two different things so with ccca when you have a flare-up and then most people know when you have flare-up with ccca then you start getting the shedding and stuff like that um that's more medical than just like your hair just shedding in the winter. And then imagine having a flare up with CCC in the winter. <laughs> like that's like double the shed. And you're like, what the hell is going on? So this is what I have done in the past to stop uh, it in the tracks. Basically when you're having a flare up, kind of like people who, some people might have like um, Crohn's disease or something like that. And on the end, so hi, hi Lily on the inside like um with the crones with their stomach when they're having a flare up uh they usually have to take steroids and everything like that to get the flare up under control so instead of going to get steroid shots i'm gonna tell you exactly what to do to get it under control and it works okay and how do i know it works uh, exhibit a of course so i'm just telling y'all my experience and which happened on more than one occasion. So, the first thing you do, like, all right, when this is how you know when you're having a flare up. Okay, so you're like, oh my God, my scalp is burning. Usually it's at the crown, okay? So you start feeling your scalp burning right here. You're like, oh my God, it's itching, it's burning. Um, especially itching. And anytime, okay, so you have regular itching, it's like, oh, a little itch. CCCA itching is like, you're like this with your hair. You're like, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's how intense CCCA itching is, if y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, you are scratching hard when it comes to CCCA. I remember getting people like, no, my itching is not, please come scratch it. Like, I had to have other people scratch it. That's how intense CCCA itching is, okay? So, when you have CCCA itching, that's how you know you're having a flare-up. When you can't, you have to scratch, 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 scratch. Nothing is working. Like, you feel like you need to get deep deep into the layers of the skin to relieve the itching because it's so bad that's ccca that's how you know you got flare up okay so if you're having that the first thing you can do which is something that i do and i put full throttle on this okay the first thing i do is the listerine rinse of course see how much i got left Listerine, I use the brown Listerine, but if you don't have brown Listerine, you can use the blue Listerine because I know in, in some countries, um, they don't have brown Listerine. And I'm speaking from people who I have helped all over. And they're like, okay, so they don't have it here. So, And then some people, in some cases, um, they'll send me the money and I'll purchase it for them and then ship it with their order. So if you do live in a different country, I will do that for you. So, 
if you don't have the brown Listerine, then you use the uh, the blue. You can use the blue Listerine too. I don't usually use other brands because to me, the Listerine is more potent. You know, like Listerine was like the first people to come out with Listerine. That's just like with me, with my brand. I know some people try to come out or like copy my formula, which would never happen because I don't put everything out there. And this is the reason why I don't. But the, I see when they try to copy my formula, um, it never will be as potent as mine because I'm I'm the originator. I'm the original Dandara. So that's how the Listerine is to me. The Listerine is the original Dandara. And let me put my hair in the point too. You can't duplicate to me the Listerine's formula because it's potent. Like it's, it's, it works. So I have tried the, like, let's say the dollar store brand or whatever, just to see, you know, as a test. And no, uh, to me, I think the Listerine, cause I had Equate before. That's the, the brand that I use, but the Listerine works. So with that being said, the first thing you do when you're having a flare up, you do the Listerine rinse. Okay. So you do the Listerine rinse and you do that for seven to 14 days, depending on how severe your situation is. Now, I have had people who say they have locks and they're like, I can't do the Listerine rinse. I have locks and I can't get my hair wet and stuff like that. I hear what you're saying. I, I, I hear you. But do know that when you are in jeopardy of losing your hair, to me, the hairstyle goes out the window. I'm sorry. It, it just does. It just goes out the window. So, you know, make a way to get, you know, to, to do what you need to do. But on another side, because I don't have locks and I don't know, one of uh, my clients said instead of them doing the Listerine Rinse Deli, what they did was just use the Scout Soothing Miss Deli. And that helped with the itching symptoms. And that's another thing. So after I do the Listerine Rinse, I um, spray the Scout Soothing Mist on my, um, my scalp. And I massage it in. And then after I massage it in, um, I'm sorry, hold on, I'm skipping a step. I do the Listerine rinse. Then I use the Rosemary and Peppermint Herbal Deep Conditioner because that stuff is, anybody who got it, that y'all already know how it is for your scalp. That stuff is like, yes. So I use the Rosemary and Peppermint Herbal Deep Conditioner. In my other video, I use the pro, um, Deep Conditioning Protein Treatment because I didn't have um, I didn't create the, the Rosemary and Peppermint Herbal Deep Conditioner yet, so that's why I use that. But when you're having a flare-up, trust me, that's <laughs> that Rosemary and Peppermint Herbal Deep Conditioner, yeah. So then I use the Rosemary and Peppermint Herbal Deep Conditioner after I do the Listerine rinse, which I'm going to do the Listerine rinse for 7 to 10 um, days or whatever. Sorry, y'all. My girlfriend was calling me. So after I do the... Uh, Listerine rinse, 7 to 10 days. Do the Rosemary Peppermint Herbal Deep Conditioner right after the Listerine rinse while you're in the shower. You know, let it sit, okay? And then um, you rinse it out. Now, for me, my strands, especially in the winter, are fragile. So I'll put the Breakage Defense Hot Oil Treatment oil on my strands while it's wet. So then I dry my hair. I get out the shower. And then... I spray the scalp soothing mist on my strands. So I spray the scalp soothing mist on my scalp, make sure I get it in there and I massage it in like this on the areas, especially where it's like sensitive. And after you massage it in, you're already, you already feeling cool from the Listerine rinse. Then you're feeling cool from the Rosemary Peppermint Herbal Deep Conditioner. And then you're feeling cool from the Listerine I mean, from the scalp soothing mist. So then I do that. And then after I do that, for me, now people may be different. Some people can use the organic hair growth oil after that. Or some people could um, use the holistic scalp cream. And that's what I do. After that, I use the holistic scalp cream. Um, for me, the holistic scalp cream 
because all of the essential oils that I put in it, it's kind of like, and if it makes sense, embedded inside of the the um, the cream, so it sits longer. If that makes sense. So when I put it on my scalp, it's literally sitting on there, and I can like feel the coolness. Like so, it's like even more. Now, I did this for about. I would say about almost about two weeks, this routine. And I did it every day. And within doing that, the flare up went away. Now, mind you, sorry, I got something in my eye. When you have a flare up, you're going to lose some hair. I'm telling you right now. So if you have that itching and you're like, ah, you're going to lose some hair. That's just that's just the normal workup of things, especially when it comes to CCCA. You're gonna if you have that itching and entangling, know some hair is gonna come out. But the difference is within doing the steps that I just said, you won't lose as much hair. Now, point in case, before I knew what to do when I had CCCA, I would have flare ups, and I'm like, oh my god. My hair it would tingle, my hair would flare up, then my um my hair would fall out, and then I would have a big bald spot in the middle of my head because that's where the CC is. When incorporating the products, if I have a flare up, I will have a tingle. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. and let me tell you how the uh wait, let me finish telling you this. I'll have a tingle, then I would do the steps that I just told you, the Listerine rinse. The rosemary pepper and herbal deep conditioner, um, the scalp soothing mist, and then the um, holistic scalp cream. And then after about two weeks, the flare up will be gone. On top of that, also, you want to make sure you are um, the anti inflammatory. So if you have meat and stuff in your diet, you might have to take that out because it's just not going to work with that. So that's with that. And another thing. If you have a little mini flare up and you do those steps instead of having a big bald spot, which most of us have and we had experience, you will have a little bit of hair that you have lost and that's it. You won't have a big bald spot. You'll have some shedding, but you'll be like trying to figure out like, well, where did the shedding come from? Because you're not going to lose your hair like you would have with the big flare up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When you have that flare up with that CCCA, it's no joke. Okay. So that is what I do. And if I'm personally, if I have a flare up personally, it's because I done did something I wasn't supposed to do. Period. I'm just letting y'all know now. At this point in my journey, if I ever have a flare up, it's because of that. And the reason why I say that is because for all y'all know, if y'all follow my um fitness page, y'all know I'm trying to lose weight because I had got that depo shot and that stuff made me gain so much weight. Hey, I'm like, come on, say hi. Because I just told him about what happened. Step over. This is my oldest daughter, y'all. <laughs> say hi. She's doing a lot better. Show me your pinky. So this is the cast I was talking about. She just have that where it is and it's not that bad. And the concussion and swelling and stuff had went down. Mm -hmm. I love you. So, um, with it, yeah, so you will have like less hair fall out and everything like that. So, when you follow that uh, routine, but you will have some hair that fall out, but it won't be like it would be normally, you know, when you feel like you gotta do the big chop and everything. <laughs> Everybody said, Hi, I said, she's so shy, y'all. She's so shy. I'm just glad she's doing a lot better. So, y'all, that's what I want y'all to do. And just know that it's still normal, too. Like, when you have, like, shedding during the winter, that's normal. Like, I spoke about in the other video. But when you have the flare-up, that's this is what you have to do with the flare-ups. I'm telling you, it works. I'm telling you, it works, okay? And for me to still basically have um, my hair... And like in the lymph retention and that is growing. Um, yeah, the lady stopped uh Zaya. Zaya, did I say it right? Zaya. The lady did stop. 
Um, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of like cussing her out in the background because when he called me on the FaceTime and she was like, oh my gosh, she just ran out into the street. That lady was all types of bitches, okay? All types of bitches. Like, I'm like, my child's laying on the ground, like, and we don't know what's going on. Girl, Zahaya, Zahaya, okay. Zahaya, that's pretty too. But yeah, so she, the lady did stop y'all. Um, the police officer did come to the hospital, so I think she got a citation, I don't know. But I'm just glad that she just doing better. But that was crazy. But y'all, that's what you can do when you have the flare ups and be consistent in that. And I'm telling you, like you will let have less hair loss. You won't have to do a big chop again and the CCA will go away. So I'm going to ask, answer y'all questions real quick. And then I'm going to get ready to take my baby to go get some flowers. Cause she want to get some flowers for her um, room. And, uh, just get her out because the doctor want her to do like brain rest. So I have to, I know, I just want her to get outside and do things. And like I said, I took her to the park the other day for y'all who follow me on my personal page. I probably saw it on Instagram. Um, so if y'all got any questions, I'll answer them real quick. And then I'm going to get off of here and get my day started. Um, I'm probably going to do some consultations tonight, too. So, if people who have consultations, um, check your email tonight. I'll do probably about, I'll probably do about five consultations tonight. And the rest of them, I'll continue on Monday. So, so get your questions in here. I'm going to answer your questions real quick. And then I'm going to get ready to take my baby to go get some flowers. For her room. All right, so let me scroll down, y'all. Let me make sure there's no questions at the top before I answer the questions at the bottom. Y'all, please make sure you hit the like button if you are in this room. I would greatly appreciate if you hit the like button. Because every time I go live, you'll get a notification because YouTube will know you like my videos and the information that I'm giving out. So hit the like button real quick. Real quick before I answer these questions. Okay. Oh, okay, Charlene Tia. Yes, it wasn't Aya who got hit. It was Sydney, the one that just came in. Aya is my three-year-old. Sydney is my 13-year-old. About to be 14. Her birthday's coming up. Um, Ms. B said, prayers. I went, I went there that in 2016, a man hit my daughter and drove. <gasps> oh, my God. And drove over her. Her Talibia and Fib Fibula. If I'm saying that right, was messed up. Yeah, she did have pain like near her um her leg at the top too. Her foot had to be reconstructed. Oh God, she has plate screws and bolts. Girl, girl, I can only imagine what you were going through. I can only imagine because I went through it, but for her, like her sydney just had like a broken finger and concussion like she had a lot of oh my god god miss b praying for y'all is she okay now like how's she doing now um thanks jim she said prayers going up yes um when boost wham bull says may the hand of the most high be upon her thank you yeah she's doing better kayla thank you Oh, and she got, oh, her lower ankle must be. Um, thank God she is still alive. Sending you and your abundance of prayers, prayers for your complete healing. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Lindsay said praying for your daughter. Thanks, um, Kayetta. God is good. She's covered. I'm praying for y'all. Yes, y'all, because I, I was not expecting that at all, y'all. And for her to be okay in the manner and the speed the lady was going to be hit, 
Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, child. Man, I don't wish that on nobody. Nobody. Um... Kimberly said, hello, I'm just getting in. My hair is growing back. I'm grateful. I still need a consultation. Oh, yes, Kimberly, please get a consultation because people who have more severe alopecia, y'all, everybody say that they benefit from it. And I'm actually about to post someone's um, review um, who has CCCA. And I'm just waiting for her to say it's okay that I can post it. And that probably be up today or tomorrow. Um, and guys, when I do post y'all stuff, y'all already know. I take y'all, y'all face and stuff is not in it and nothing like that. But, um, I just want to be respectful and asking, can I post it? But, um, when I do post it, if I don't ask you, y'all information will not be in it. Nobody will know who you is, none of that. Because, I mean, yeah, I feel you on that. I'm in front of the camera, don't mean everybody else want to be in front of the camera. Yes, Jim, she said, I can attest to the brown Listerine. It works for me like magic. Yes. Um, Wambu, well, Esther, you said you got one with ginger and lemon. Is it okay? Is that Listerine? I never heard of ginger, ginger and lemon in it, but I would just say the original brown Listerine, to be honest, because I haven't used anything else except for the blue one, and I just... Don't want to tell you something, and I haven't personally used it myself. I don't know if it works. Um, good afternoon, Jay Johnson. Okay, so Kay Yetta said, can you use the Listerine for, like, a detox before shampooing your hair and then use moisturizing shampoo? If Kay Yetta, if you have CCCA, then it's good for that. But if you... Yeah, it's good for that, but I, the moisturizer shampoo, I would be like, mm. if black soap shampoo is a little stripping to your hair, what I would do is just add some olive oil to it, and that will make it more moisturizing. I don't want you to go out and get another shampoo, and then next thing you know, you have um, it's chemicals in that, and it can activate the CCCA. You get what I'm saying? So you want to use the most... I tell people to use products from the line, because at least I can know what's going on with you but when you start adding other stuff to it some people have issues with that and then they'll have flare-ups and we don't want the flare-ups um lily said i just have one spot that just want, uh, won't go away from itching and burning yeah and that's that spot you just continue to treat constantly lily like just keep continuing to treat it like if it's still itching and burning then still do the serene rinse Still use the Scout Soothing Mist. Still do the Rosemary Peppermint Herbal Deconditioner. Still um, use the Organic Hair Growth Oil and the Holistic Scalp Cream until it go away. Period. Because it will go away. Because I have not had, like, the flare-up you talking about when I had it in the beginning, that will go away. Like, if you continue to be consistent in your regimen. But you just got to up the ante for it. Also, diet and make sure you're taking the pumpkin seed oil pills. Like, or taking pumpkin seed oil. But diet, you got to pay attention to that red meat and stuff because that stuff calls flare-ups for some people. Some people be like, all right, yeah, I was doing real well, and then Thanksgiving came, and I had some meat, and next thing you know, my scalp was on fire. I'm telling y'all. like, So just be mindful of your diet as well. And we have the anti-inflammatory diet on the website. Um, Jay Johnson said, is it okay to use the leave-in conditioner or the scalp cream at the Listerine wash until I get my deconditioner. Um, the scalp cream. Use the holistic scalp cream. Um, use the holistic scalp cream. And Jay Johnson, I don't know, like, are you having flare ups and stuff? Because if you're having flare ups, don't really use the conditioner leave in hair cream. That's a stage two. Use the moisture sealing hair butter instead and the scalp cream, holistic scalp cream. Um, sweet lady, so I'm currently taking 1,000 MCG pills of biotin. Should I start taking the 10,000 MCG biotin? Um, I don't think if you, if you're not having like any acne flare ups and stuff, you can, but some people, you know, just go up a little bit, not a lot of it. Cause you go from 1,000 to 10,000. That's a lot. Your, your body might be like, um, what is going on? Pimple, pimple, pimple. And you don't want that. So just be, just go up a little bit, go up a little bit. 
And another way you can tell if you're getting in too many vitamins when you pee and it's like high tech yellow, like that's because your body is just peeing out the additional um, vitamins that it don't need. So be mindful of that as well. Um, thanks, Kayla. She's an all beautiful baby girl. Yes. Uh, Max said, should a bag be used when doing the rosemary peppermint deconditioner? Yes, I use a bag, plastic bag, plastic cap. You don't need to use heat. Please don't, because I'm telling you, your scalp already going to be stimulated. You don't need heat, I'm telling you. And especially when you, if you have like a scalp condition, the less heat, the better. Uh, um, Esther said, when do I apply the organic hair growth oil after washing? Um, yeah, you apply it after shampooing and conditioning your hair. And you also apply it three to four times per week and massage it into your scalp. And then the following week, you massage the holistic scalp cream three to four times per week. Don't use it within the same week because you don't want to clog your pores. And don't use the organic hair growth oil every day because you don't want to clog your pores. Like, if people, like, have bumps and stuff, that, that's because you're using it too much. With oil, you have to be um, three to four times a week at the most. All right. When do, okay. Chantel says, should I stop wearing crochet braids? Yeah, if you're having flare-ups, Chantel, if you're having itching, if you're having hair breakage, then yes. Like, I wouldn't dare put my hair in braids when I'm having a flare-up. Just don't do it. And then, when you do get the crochet braids, if you're not having a flare-up and your hair is growing and you're fine, make sure you are soaking that synthetic hair in apple cider vinegar and water to get the chemicals off the hair. Because a lot of people don't know the chemicals on the hair is causing flare-ups itching inflammation all that stuff like there are no regulations over there so you, you need to be careful like they could put anything on the hair to make it look good and then it could be irritating your scalp and you're like why is my hair falling out and that's using or why is my hair itching and that's that's the reason um Okay, Miss B, I'm glad she's on better. You said uh, three surgeries on her ankle. Wow. She still suffers. Oh, my God. Ankle swells at the time. I'm grateful to God. Keep her here. I'm only have one child. Yes, I'm so glad she's doing well, too, Miss B, because that is crazy. And she's still suffering. Whew. Lord, I'm going to pray for her, too. Like, literally, 